If we're gonna solve this mystery, let's start looking for anything unusual that might be a clue. <laughs> okay. Nothing unusual here. <laughs> nice work, Dr. Pupson. It looks like someone, or something, has been shedding fur. <laughs> There's more over here. Maybe this can tell us what kind of monster we're looking for. Cause it's not exactly crystal clear. Did someone say... Crystal? Ah! Well, you've certainly come to the right place. I am Madame Dima. I will look into my crystal ball for you. Step into my lair, if you dare. Guys, um... <laughs> Give me your clue. My crystal ball will show us what monster you seek. <laughs> oh, I see. The monster is... Furry. Well, yes, we know that, but... We were hoping you could help us figure out what kind of monster exactly. We will gaze into the crystal ball. And we'll need your help. We need to find a monster that has fur. Which one of these has fur? The vampire? The mummy? Or the werewolf? Fur. That's right. The werewolf has fur. Thank you for your help. Yikes. A werewolf? What did you expect? A bunny? Let us gaze into the crystal ball again for another clue. Yes, please. Wait a second. I see nothing. Seriously? Huh? Yes. Too foggy. There. That's better. I see... I see... The Van Wolf! Where is it? It has escaped into the neighborhood. But it is not far from here. Hello, customer. What can I boo for you today? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like a spooky Halloween costume, please. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Welcome to Dr. Demastein's Costume Laboratory, where all the costumes are a real scream. Ah! <laughs> I can't wait to dress up in a really spooky costume. Just step into the changing room, and one spooky costume coming right up. <laughs> This bunny costume is very spooky. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's try this again. Hmm. I need your help. Here are three costumes. Which one is spooky? The kitty, the skeleton, or the chicken? The skeleton! Right, the skeleton. Spooky, all right. I think we have a real spooky costume for you. Step back into the changing room, please. Hello! I am a skeleton. <laughs> That's some spooky skeleton action. Thank you. And thank you for your help. You're welcome. And if you ever need anything else, just howl. <laughs> when we're looking for clues to solve a mystery, we use our... Eyes! That's right, our eyes. 
And when we need to hear answers to questions, we listen with our... Ears! Yup, our ears. And sometimes we can smell clues with our... Noses. Exactly, our noses. Solving mysteries is cool. Let's sing about it. When you get that spooky feeling, like something's out of place, take a look for clues to follow to help you crack the case. Like a detective running round, searching all over the town, taking notes of all the sights and smells and sounds. That's how you solve a mystery. Follow clues to find out where they lead. Look for things you don't expect to see. Now what could that be? That's how you solve a mystery. Very mysterious. Cause even when things vanish, they leave a trail behind. Shh. You can find out where they went if you learn to read the signs. Like a detective on the go, investigating high and low. Asking questions to find out what she needs to know. Whoa. That's how you solve a mystery. Solve a mystery. Follow clues to find out where they lead. Where they lead. Hit the trail just like it's trick or treat. On Halloween! Ooh, there you go. Cool. Now you're a jack-o'-lantern. It'll do. <laughs> now come inside, if you dare. All right. First, we must pass through this spooky place. Please keep moving. There might be zombies here. Zombies! Okay. I don't think he was scared. Oh, oh, oh! Do you hear that? Oh! Werewolf! Oh, oh, oh! What are you doing, Mr. Grumpfish? Well, that was disappointing. Look, Mr. Grumpfish! A totally real ghost! Hmm, good puppy. <laughs> All right, see you later. Mr. Grumpfish, didn't you like our haunted house? Weren't you scared? Ooh. Not really. Thanks, anyway. Mr. Rockfish! What is it? It was... It was... Something right over there. I don't see anything. It was orange. And mean. And it... It looked so... Grumpy. Mr. Grumpfish, that was your reflection in the mirror. You scared yourself. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> That's my reflection <laughs> in the mirror. <laughs> I scared myself. Grumpy, now I see it's pretty sweet. Quick, help me with my costume. I can't wait to hit the street. Trick or treat, trick or treat, give me something good to eat. Everybody's out and I'm so excited. Trick or treat, trick or treat, ghosts and goblins in the street. Halloween is here and you're all invited. Come in, dress up, police. We've got a dress-up emergency near the fire station. Dress-up dress up emergency. emergency! 
You're on it. Excuse me, ma'am, but it's not safe to fight fires in those clothes. It's not? Dress up, police. Thanks, dress up, police officers. I'll be safe in this heavy coat and helmet. You're, You're well. Oh, 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 Gorilla! Let's get out of here! Oh, 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 oh. That was a close one. Come in, dress up police. Someone needs your help at the beach. Dress up some emergency! You're on it! <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, but that astronaut suit isn't right for hula dancing. Tell me about it. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Dress up, police! <gasps> Thank you, dress up, police! <laughs> I think we lost him. Come in, dress up police. Someone needs your help at the big football game. Dress up emergency. You're on it. Whoa. This is a dress up emergency. I need to look like the rest of my team, but I'm all mixed up. I need a uniform. Your uniform lets everyone know which team you're on. We need your help. Gil needs a helmet that matches his team's uniform. Which one of these helmets is blue with an orange stripe and an orange circle? This one, this one, or this one? That one! Yeah, that one. It's blue with an orange stripe and an orange circle. Phew, I think we got away. And we're almost to the top of the volcano. The shields can't be far now. Come on. Gil, look. Geodes! Uh, are you sure they're not dinosaur eggs? I'm sure. I can't wait to see what they look like inside. Whoa! The T-Rex is coming! means smoke and hot lava come out of the top of a volcano. Uh-oh! Ah! Goby Gill and Bubble Puppy finally got a geode when the volcano started to erupt.
Here's your lunch, officers. <gasps> now we have everything we need. Let's get at her. She's getting away! I know! But we have to get these babies back to Dima so she can comfort them. Guffy Girl and Bubble Boy quickly brought the baby police officers back to the mayor's office. Almost ready, Ms. Goo Goo. Add a little of this, push this here, and one bottle coming up! <laughs> now let's get this to the top of Big Bubble Building and turn everyone in the city into little babies. And then I'll rule the city! <laughs> Okay, this one goes here, and the other one goes here. And away we go! Stop right there, Miss Goo Goo. Well, look who's here. Oh, it's Guppy Girl and Bubble Boy. Say Goo Goo! are the werewolves. A werewolf is part human, but it has paws like a wolf. Which of these tracks are paw prints? These ones? These ones? Or these ones? These ones! These are paw prints! Excellent work! These are a match, so they must be the werewolf's tracks. Thanks for your help. The werewolf went that way. Into the bog that's full of fog? Can I go wait on that log? <laughs> no. If we're going to save Halloween, we've got to capture him, Gilly. There's so much fog in this bog, we can hardly see anything. Gilly? I think we're lost. I can't see the trail. Hey, where did Dr. Popson go? That's strange. He was here just a minute ago. Dr. Dr. Popson, Popson, where are you? Maybe he went back into town. I should go look. Are. I was starting to worry you ran into. Oh! The werewolf! And so, after looking all over Bubbledon, the detectives finally found the werewolf they were searching for. Werewolf. Did someone say my name? Crikey! Junior, there you are. Wait, you're also not scary. Oh, scary? No, no. I'm his dad. 
The name's William. William Werewolf Monster. Nice to meet you. I'm Molly, and that's Jill. We're detectives. And this is our partner, Dr. Pupson. <laughs> Thank you for finding Junior. I've been looking everywhere for him. Well, that solves that mystery. Ha. <sighs> uh, Dima? Happy birthday, Dima. We're here for the party. Woo! I'm sorry, everyone, but the party is canceled. We don't have a light bright enough to bring Molly into the harbor. Oh, canceled? Oh, canceled. Okay. Oh, let's go home. Dima, look. Oh, no. Flashlights. Do you think all of those will be bright enough? Well, I'll be a selfish shellfish. Hey, everyone. Can we borrow your flashlights? Why, of course yeah. you can. Yeah, go ahead. Of yeah. course. And so, Dima and her friends collected every flashlight in Foggy Harbor. Light them up, please, Mr. Nodders. Come on, Molly. <gasps> There's the light! Shake a leg, crew. We've got a cake to deliver. Hooray! ship was coming in, but so was Fogzilla. Zilla, you can't blow these lights out. They're electric. <laughs> we did it! Yeah! 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 We did it! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Fogzilla? I could I, I I couldn't blow the candle out. <laughs> you thought this lighthouse was a candle? Uh-huh. A, a birthday candle. It's my birthday. <laughs> Wait, Fogzilla! It's my birthday, too! It is? Uh-huh. Let's celebrate together. I've got a really big birthday cake. Birthday cake? <laughs> We're on Crown Street right now. Great! Okay, that house there is number 12 Crown Street, and Allison lives at number 15 Crown Street. We need your help. Will you count up with us? Okay, ready? 12, 13, 14, 15. Thanks for your help. Here we are, number 15 Crown Street. This is where Allison in Wonderland lives. <gasps> well, look who we have here. Won't you come in? <gasps> Molly and her friends found the address they were looking for, but it turned out to be the Queen's Castle. <sighs> well, guess you all have to go down the chute again. And what about the rabbit? She helped them escape. What? Is this true? Yes, Your Majesty, but I can explain. No, throw them down the chute. All of them. Go ahead. It doesn't matter if you throw us down the chute. It doesn't? Because it seems bad. Not really, because we'll still be together. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> See? You can try to get rid of Friendship Day, but you'll never get rid of friendship. Look at that. So friendly. <laughs> That's all I've ever wanted. Friendship like that. <laughs> That's why I took all the Friendship Day cards. I was jealous. 
that because no one ever sent a friendship day card to poor old Allison Hart. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're Allison? Uh-huh. At 15 Crown Street? Wonderland 145. <laughs> That's my address. Why do you ask? Because I have something for you. Happy Friendship Day, Allison. <laughs> Happy Friendship Day to a really great friend. Oh, how nice. <laughs> but who would send this to me? I don't have any friends. I sent it, Your Majesty. That's why I was helping them. I wanted you to get the card so you'd know that you're my friend. And I'm yours. Oh, Rabbit! Come here, come here, this needs a hug. Get in here, get in here! One, two, three, four, five, six. Hop. Two, three, four, five, six. We're going to our campsite. March with us! Hop. Two, three, four, five, six. Hop. Two, three, One more camping, camping outside. Yay! And now it's time to roast some marshmallows so we can make some s'mores. Mmm, s'mores. Yeah. And that means it's time to tell a spooky campfire story. Spooky. Tell us your story, Gobi. Okay. This is the story of Pinkfoot. 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 Ahem. Legend has it that when you go camping and the moon is full, and if you make s'mores, then Pinkfoot might come. And if he does... What was that? It's coming from over there. Maybe it's Pinkfoot. Everybody, get out your flashlights. Help us find out what's making that sound. Hold your flashlight out like this. Ready? Flashlight on! It's the Crab Scouts! Hi, everybody! Hi, Hi Crab, Crab Scouts. Scouts! We thought you were Pinkfoot! Woohoo! That's our favorite spooky campfire story! Sit down, Crab Scouts! Go ahead, Goby. Finish the story. Well. And if you make s'mores on a night like tonight, when the moon is full, then you might get a visit from none other than Pinkfoot. Then what happens? Hey, wait a minute. You're Pinkfoot? Shh, Kobe's not finished with his story. Thank you. And if you give Pinkfoot a s'more, he'll sing a song for you. Is that true? Gracias for the story. Many thanks for the snack. Each time you make s'mores, I'm sure to come back If you roast your marshmallows By the light of the moon And make s'mores for pink food Then I'll come to you soon I'll come to you soon You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week and watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.